If you use your computer for anything more demanding than checking email, if you edit videos, make music, do graphic design or just hate it when your computer stutters, today is a very big day. It is officially January 11th, 2026 and the team behind one of the most beautiful, powerful and ready to use Linux distributions out there has just dropped a massive update. Modicia OS, codename Carvaggio, version 6.12.63 RT LTS is officially here. Now, I know that name sounds like a complicated math equation. RT, LTS, 6.12, don't worry about the numbers right now. Here is the headline. The only thing you need to remember today, ultimate stability meets extreme real-time performance. Usually, in the computer world, you have to pick one. You can have a rock-solid, super stable system that never crashes, but maybe it's a little slow. Or you can have the bleeding edge fastest thing ever, but it might randomly restart on a Tuesday afternoon. Modisha OS Carvaggio is saying, why not both? In today's video, we are going to deep dive into this new ISO release. I'm going to explain why this real-time kernel is a game changer for your creative work. We're going to look at the massive graphic upgrades for ATA card users and run through all the shiny new software included out of the box. If you've been thinking about trying Linux or if you're already using Modicia, this is the update you have been waiting for. So let's break it down. Ok, first things first. For the complete beginner watching, what is Modicia OS? Think of it as an operating system, like Windows or Mac OS, but it's built on Linux. The philosophy of Modicia is pretty unique. A lot of Linux versions require you to tinker, configure and install a bunch of stuff just to get started. Modicia is the opposite. The goal here is that you install it and 5 minutes later you are professionally editing a 4K video, recording a podcast or designing a logo. It comes pre-configured for peak performance and it looks absolutely stunning right out of the gate. And today's release takes that peak performance philosophy and straps a rocket engine to it. Let's talk about the engine room. The biggest change in this release is something called the kernel. The kernel is the heart of your operating system. It's the bus. It tells the hardware, your processor, your memory, what the software, your web browser, your video editor wants to do. This new release runs on kernel 6.12.63 RT LTS. Let's break that down. LTS stands for long term support. That means it's built to last. It's durable. It's not experimental. It's reliable. But the magic letters here are RT. That stands for real time. What is a real time kernel? This is often misunderstood. People think real time means faster, like a car with a higher top speed. That's not quite right. A standard computer kernel is like a very busy waiter in a chaotic restaurant. You order a coffee, the waiter takes your order, then takes orders from other three tables, drops off a check somewhere else, and then brings your coffee. It might take two minutes, it might take five, you don't know for sure. A real-time kernel is like having a private butler standing right next to your table. You say coffee and they immediately turn to get it. Real-time means predictability and responsiveness. It means when you move your mouse, the cursor moves instantly. When you click a button, the action happens now, not in 20 milliseconds when the processor gets around to it. So what does this mean for you, sitting at your computer? The release notes promises significantly reduce latency. Latency is just a fancy word for lag. Whether you are just moving files around, opening heavy applications or browsing with 50 tabs open, the system feels snappier. Smoother multitasking even under heavy workloads. You know that feeling when your computer momentarily freezes because you opened Photoshop while listening to Spotify? That is exactly what real-time kernel is designed to eliminate. It's about the feel of the OS, it feels connected to your fingertips. Now, where does real-time stuff really matters, and why Modicia is famous? It's for creators. If you do audio or video production, listen up. If you're a musician recording audio, latency is the enemy. Latency is that delay between singing into the microphone and hearing it back into your headphones. It's maddening. This new kernel brings massive enhancements to the professional audio system in Linux. Things called Jack, Pipewire and Pulse Audio. The notes specifically mention the elimination of audio drops and micro lags during recording. If you've ever ruined a perfect guitar take because your computer hiccuped and caused a pop in the recording, you know how huge this is. 
the RT scheduling ensures your audio gets top priority always. The same applies to video. They've improved the synchronization between your main processor, CPU, and your graphics card, the GPU. What does that mean? It means more stable video pipeline. If you are editing 4K or even 8K video, scrabbling through the timeline, moving that little playhead back and forth is battery smooth, no stuttering. When you go to render or export your final video, the processing times are reduced. Why? Because the real-time kernel isn't wasting milliseconds deciding what to do next, it's just pumping data through the system efficiently. If time is money for you, faster rendering and smoother editing is a direct deposit into your bank account. Before you get to the graphical stuff, a quick note on security. Because this is based on LTS foundation, it's incredibly robust. They have integrated the latest patches for stronger protection and improved memory management. Basically, it's harder to crash the system and it's harder for bad guys to break into it. It's the boring stuff that you absolutely need to have. Ok, if you have an AMD or ATI graphics card in your computer or laptop, this next section is specifically for you. This is huge. This release features fully integrated MESA plus VAPI drivers. Again, alphabet soup. What does that mean for a beginner? MESA and VAPI are basically the translators that allow your operating system and your applications to talk to your graphics hardware. The biggest benefit here is hardware acceleration. Without hardware acceleration, when you watch a high definition video on YouTube or Netflix, especially modern formats like VB9 or H265, your main CPU has to do all the work to decode that video. It gets hot, your fan spins like a jet engine, and if you're on a laptop, your battery dies in an hour. With these new optimized drivers in Modicia, that work is offloaded to the graphics card, which is designed to handle it easily. The result? smoother video playback, cooler laptops, and better battery life. This driver update ripples through everything you do. For video editors using Kdin Life, Shotcut, or the Linux version of DaVinci Resolve, your timelines will be more responsive. If you are a digital artist using GIMP, Krita, or Pinta, operation that uses interface graphic buffers like giant brushes or complex filters will be more stable. And yes, gamers. While Modicia is branded as a professional multimedia OS, this drives improvements means better support for gaming. You get more stable frames per second in OpenGL and Vulkan titles, and expanded compatibility with Proton and Wine for running Windows games. And here is the kicker. This isn't just for brand new graphics cards. These driver optimizations bring massive benefits for older ATI hardware. If you have a laptop from 5 or 6 years ago that feels sluggish, this ISO might just bring it back to life with noticeable fluidity improvements. We've covered the heavy technical stuff under the hood. The real-time engine, the graphics acceleration, it's impressive stuff. I want to take a quick second right now to ask you a favor. If you're finding this breakdown helpful, if I'm helping you understand what RTS RTS actually means, please hit that like button down below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people looking to switch to Linux. And if you want to stay updated on Modicia OS and other cool tech, consider subscribing. And if you do so, welcome to the team. Alright, let's round up the other goodies in this ISO. An operating system is only as good as the apps it runs and Modicia comes loaded. Everything has been updated to its latest stable version. We have LibreOffice 4 version 25.2.3, this is your full office suite, word processor, spreadsheets, presentation, fully compatible with Microsoft Office formats and ready for serious work. We have Pinta 3.1, a fantastic lightweight image editor for when you just need to quickly crop, resize or draw something without opening a heavy program like GIMP. They've included Chromium 142.0. This is the open source browser that Google Chrome is based on, but Modicia does something smarter here. It's sandboxed, this means the browser runs in its own little isolated bubble. If a web page crashes or tries to do something malicious, it can't affect the rest of your system. It's a great security layer. And of course, the desktop environment itself, MA Cinnamon 6.4.10. This is what makes Modicia look so good, is the taskbar, the menu, the windows. It's updated, polished and beautiful. On top of that, get this, 108 bug fixes and 37 security updates applied since the last version. That is a lot of polish. So we come to the final question. Why download this specific ISO right now? You might be thinking, can't I just install an older version of Modicia and run the updates? Well, yes, technically you could, but here is what you shouldn't. 
If you install an older version today, the second you connect to the internet, your update manager is going to scream at you. You will have to download hundreds of megabytes, maybe gigabytes of updates. You'll have to restart, things might get messy and it takes time. This new ISO, the Carvaggio, is a snapshot of perfection right now. It has all those optimization that incredible real-time kernel, those new ATI drivers, the 108 bug fixes. They are all baked into the image. You download it once, you install it, which takes about 15 minutes on modern hardware, and when you boot up for the first time, you are done. You are at the cutting edge of stability and performance. No waiting for post-install updates. You can get straight to work or straight to gaming. This is, in my opinion, the best version of Modisha OS released to date. The combination of the LTS stability foundation with the responsiveness of the real-time kernel is something you really have to feel to appreciate. The links to download the new ISO are right down in the description below. Give it a try. Even if you just run it off a USB stick to test drive it without installing, I think you'll be impressed by how snappy it feels. Let me know in the comments, are you excited about the real-time kernel? Are you an audio engineer or a video editor looking for that zero latency workflow? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.